So we are continuing on with Leviticus chapter 6. Grab them Bibles. Come on. Open your Bible. Let's read God's word. It's time to eat. Feed our spirits. Let's hear what God has to say about life. <laughs> and those things that are pleasing or displeasing to him for us to shun or to embrace. Mm. He gave Moses the rules and the instructions. So let's delve into the Word of God. If you don't have a Bible, you are quite welcome to listen as the Word of God comes forth. Listen prayerfully. And let it marinate and meditate on it. Let the Holy Spirit help us so that we could be pleasing to God with our lives. Whatever we do, whatever we think, Yes, and the way we live, so God could be pleased with us. Leviticus chapter 6, the King James Version, it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, If a soul sin and commit a trespass against the Lord, mm, and lie unto his neighbor in that which was delivered him to keep or in fellowship or in a thing taken away by violence or had deceived his neighbor or have found that which was lost and lieth concerning it and swear it falsely in any of all these that a man do it sinning therein then it shall be because he had sinned and is guilty that he shall restore that which he took violently away or the thing which he had deceitfully gotten or that which was delivered him to keep or the lost thing which he found mm. or all that about which he had sworn falsely he shall even restore it in the principle mm and shall add the fifth part more thereto, and give it unto him to whom it appertaineth in the day of his trespass offering. Mm. <laughs> mm. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto the Lord. Iran without blemish out of the flock with thy estimation for a trespass offering unto the priest. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Lord. And it shall be forgiven him for anything of all that he had done in trespassing therein. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night unto the morning. Mm -hmm. And the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment and his linen breeches shall he put upon his flesh and take up the ashes which the fire hath consumed with the burnt offering on the altar and he shall put them beside the altar mm. and he shall put off his garments and put on other garments 
and carry forth the ashes without the camp onto a clean place. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lay the burnt offering to order in order excuse me upon it and he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar it shall never go out mm. and this is the law of the meat offering <laughs> The sons of Aaron shall offer it before the Lord, before the altar. And he shall take of it his handful of the flour of the meat offering, and of the oil thereof, and all the frankincense which is upon the meat offering, and shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savour, even the memorial of it unto the Lord. And the remainder thereof <laughs> shall Aaron and his sons eat. With leavened bread shall it be eaten in the holy place. In the court of the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall eat it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> it shall not be bacon with leaven. I have given it unto them for their portion of my offerings made by fire. Mm. It is most holy, as is the sin offering and as the trespass offering. All the males among the children of Aaron shall eat of it. It shall be a statute forever in your generations concerning the offerings of the Lord made by fire. Everyone that toucheth them shall be holy. Hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This is the offering of Aaron and of his sons, which they shall offer unto the Lord in the day, when he is anointed. The tenth part of an ephah of fine flour for a for meat offering perpetual, half of it in the morning and half thereof at night. In a pan it shall be made with oil. And when it is bacon, thou shalt bring it in, and the bacon pieces of meat offerings shalt thou offer for a sweet savour unto the Lord. And the priest of his sons that is anointed in his stead shall offer it. It is a statute forever unto the Lord. It shall be wholly burnt. For every meat offering for the priest shall be wholly burnt. It shall not be eaten. Mm. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children, speak unto, excuse, speak unto Aaron and to his son, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the born offering is killed, shall the sin offering be killed before the Lord. It is most holy. The priest that offereth it for sin shall eat it in the holy place shall it be eaten in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation. Whatsoever shall touch the flesh thereof shall be holy, and when there is sprinkled of the blood thereof upon any garment, thou shalt wash that whereon it, is, it was sprinkled in the holy place. But the earthen vessel wherein it is sodden shall be broken, and if it be sodden in a brazen pot, it shall be both sc 
covered and rinsed <laughs> in water. All the males among the priests shall eat thereof. It is most holy. Mm. And no sin offering whereof any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle of the congregation to reconcile with all in the holy place shall be eaten. It shall be burnt in the fire. Thus ends the reading of Leviticus chapter 6. Let's delve into this. Let's meditate on the Word of God because it is getting deeper. God is being even more stricter and specific with His instructions for the people his creation, his children. So let's meditate on this word and let God minister to us what he wants us to know. Stay blessed, everybody. Continue to live in obedience. Let's continue to walk and live in obedience according to what God desires. Stay blessed. <laughs>